So this video is going to be called Don't Hate, Congratulate. So recently, um, if you guys already watched the review for this hair, well, my last review for this hair, um, then you guys know that I recently had a photo shoot with her hair company and I did it with three other YouTubers, which was Fabulosity is Me, um, Ivy, and Beautiful Morgan. And we had a great time. Uh, this was the first time I've ever met Morgan um, in Fabulous City is Me, but I met um, Ivy last year before when she had came out here, um, I think like March. So, um, you know, we, you know, we were having casual talk and all of that good stuff. And one thing that stuck, stuck out to me was the fact that I was genuinely happy to see other people doing the same thing that I'm doing and winning. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I, me personally, no, I'm not going to speak for nobody else, but me personally, I enjoy seeing other people be successful. Whether we come from the same area, the same job, whatever the situation is, I just genuinely like to see other people living out their dreams and winning from hard work and perseverance. That ain't everybody. You know what I'm saying? And the vibe I got when we were all together was everybody felt the same. You know, nobody was hating. Nobody felt no type of way. We were all laughing. We were all joking. We were all acting stupid. We were all enjoying each other's company. You know, because quiet is kept. Most of us as YouTubers, we don't have issues with each other. People have issues with us liking each other. You know, it's, it's that thing. It goes back to the same thing with... Oh, Beyonce don't like Kish Cole, and Kish Cole don't like Michelle, and Michelle don't like Solange, and Solange don't like Jay-Z. You know, it's just like, behind the scenes, you're kind of like, I don't even know her to have a problem with her, but okay, you know? And in life, I see a lot of people do that. They'll see someone get an opportunity, and the first thing they say is, why, why, they, why they ask that bitch? You know what I'm saying? Why is this bitch winning? Why can't I win? And they bitch, I, I'm better than her. I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. And one thing that you, y'all have to got to understand in order to get through life and really, really enjoy it is that what's for one motherfucker ain't for the other, okay? And what I mean by that is if someone else is successful, that's their blessing. Stop trying to steal their shine. Do you guys know how many times there is a YouTuber or anybody that pops up on any show. I get tons of tweets and Instagram messages. That could have been you. That should have been you. They should have never used them. And I'm like, but why? That's clearly, if it was for me, I would have had it. If it was, you know, it was, if it was for me to, to go far and do that, I would be doing it. But clearly my path is different than theirs. So I'm going to let, Lil Mama, Lil Daddy Shine, be happy for them, genuinely, and go about my day. I don't, listen, I've seen Tyler Oakley on the side of a hotel on Sunset Boulevard. And when I say on the side, he is from the top floor to the damn ground. I didn't do nothing but, shout out to him. Damn, somebody's doing it. Shout out to him there. I don't have a reason to be upset because... There are a lot of people who ain't doing shit. There are a lot of motherfuckers who ain't getting no opportunity. And you're mad because you're getting an opportunity, but it's not theirs. You're, you're reaching for something that's not for you. Let them be. If you're at a job, and I totally get being frustrated because you're working so hard, but you're not seeing nothing come from it. You know what I'm saying? Or if you are seeing something come from it, it's not what they're getting. But you can't put yourself, you can't make up, you can't, place yourself in a story that doesn't involve you, okay? So if a person is telling you about a story, you can't tell them how the story is, how it's going to end, or how it should go, because you ain't got nothing to do with it. Let people live and, and, and take your blessings, no matter how large or small they are, take them for what they are, which are blessings. That means there's progression going on in your life. You're doing something. It ain't what they're doing, but you're doing something. If you're a singer and you feel like, oh, why is this bitch? And why is it? Then you got to work a little bit harder, Pumpkin. Maybe it's not your time. Do you think that I would be able to enjoy the success that I had when I was 19 on here? I don't think so. Because I, I was going at everybody. I wasn't mature enough 
to understand what it was to have a professional button and a non-professional button. I don't think I would have understood what it was to have, you know, this company follow me or this celebrity want to kick it with me or whatever the situation is. I don't know because at the time, I don't think I was ready for that. Now I can do it and put on my professional hat and being able to be able to go and say, yo, I can do this. I'm capable enough to do this. Thank you for the blessing and the opportunity you gave me with this and go forward. But some people want everything to be so instant and hard work takes a lot of fucking time. Nobody got nowhere overnight, period. That's just what it is. Whether you're working a nine to five job, you're working on your dreams, you're working on your aspirations, whatever. Everything takes hard fucking work. And you're going to hear way more no's than you will ever hear yeses. That is just the bottom line. That is how life works. But that this is how it, it hones you to be better. It hones you to want to do more. It hones you to have drive because if everything is given to you, you don't appreciate the shit when it comes. It's just the truth. If somebody gave you everything in your life, this is why people always say this about celebrity kids or child actors. They don't get what it is to struggle. And when they have to struggle, it's a culture shock because they've never had to work for anything. You know, not all of them. Because some of them, the Lord, they was not a child when they peak it. They was playing a child, but they was not a child. Um, but yeah, you, you, you have to take, you have to take your journey for what it is. It's called a journey for a reason. Otherwise it would be called a trip. Okay. You take a trip to the store. You take a trip to the mall. You take a journey somewhere. And a journey takes time. It's not an overnight thing. So stop expecting things to happen so instant. And then when they don't, or you see somebody else and you like, well, why they pick her? Why they do this? But you don't know what her journey is. You don't know how long she has been waiting for this and working for that. You don't know. And maybe it's just not for you. That's, that's another way to look at it, you know. Maybe that avenue isn't for you. And sometimes you got to reevaluate your dreams. Not all the time. Most of the time, what you feel deep down inside of you is what you're meant to do because you enjoy it. You love it. It it breathes creativity and fire under you to want to do this. But there are people I look, all, look at all the time who do two YouTube videos and become phenomenal. And y'all know my journey, like a lot of other people's, was not like that. It took a long time for somebody like me to have a position and have a lane. Because when I started, there was only one or two people doing that. You know, now it's a whole slew of motherfuckers who who doing it. But I'm not mad at it. You know what I'm saying? Get it how you live. I'm not mad because what's for me is going to be for me. And what's for you is going to be for you. So stop being a hater, bitch. If you see somebody that's in your same lane, that's not in your lane, who does something that's great and get great opportunity, say, you know what, bitch? Congratulations. You did that. I am happy for you. There you go. You know, it, it, it won't hurt to pay somebody a compliment. It doesn't hurt to be happy for someone else's success. It's not going to kill you. So stop acting like y'all going to die because somebody that you may not fuck with like that or somebody that you don't know like that has done something that you ain't done. Damn. Bitch got to eat too. You know, bitch got to do something. Let her do it. But yeah. Um, thank y'all for listening. I'm a little rant. Um, I'm, some of you guys are, were asking about this jacket. This is from Homage Holders. And this is the back. And um, the young lady who did it for me, I will put her website as well as her Instagram below. Uh, love this jacket to death. She does BMW, Lexus, everything. So if you feel very luxury and you want a good um, varsity jacket, well, you may want it. Um, check the link below. And I'll talk to y'all later.